is no Zaku, boy! No Zaku! Prepare yourselves. You are about to witness the very pinnacle of animated manliness. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 manliest men in anime. Gentlemen, let me tell you about a new product that will revolutionize the fashion industry. Earrings made for the nose hair. For this list, we've taken the most macho men from the anime world and ranked them on just how potent and awe-inspiring their machismo is. Any character can make the cut, just so long as their manliness is undeniable. Also, a spoiler alert is in full effect. <laughs> Number 10, Ichiryu, Toriko. <laughs> when you have a protagonist that can tear apart gigantic beasts with his bare hands and has more muscles than should be humanly possible, it takes someone on a whole other level to humble them. <laughs> Say hello to Ichiryu, surrogate father to the four heavenly kings, student of the gourmet god, and all-around badass. Extremely likable with a quirky attitude and a love for all things delicious, you know this guy has some unholy strength when he can stop a beast like Toriko with just a single finger. Number 9, Kamina, Tengen Tampa Gurren Lagan. Who the hell do you think I am? I'm Kamina of Team Gurren, baby! When a character doesn't make it past episode 8 but still has a lasting impression on the series, you can expect nothing less than the best. Don't call me Kamina, call me bro. Kamina is among the most beloved of anime characters. With a fondness for swords and a disinterest in shirts, he quickly rises to become the symbol of human resistance against the tyrannical Spiral King. Don't screw with me, you bastards. Just who the hell do you think I am? He's got an endless amount of determination, an awesome catchphrase, and death scenes so heartbreaking and out of the blue that it left fans devastated. Later, buddy. Huh? What was that, bro? Bro? Oh, and he kissed Yoko. That automatically gets him manliness points. I'll repay that. I'll repay that ten times over. Number eight, Rikage, Naruto Shippuden. I am gonna teach you the fear of true fury. There are plenty of hardened shinobi that occupy the world of Naruto, but none come close to matching the virility of this guy. Come on! The fourth Rikage is the leader of the Hidden Cloud Village and is all types of awesome. I am out! He's a master of lightning-style jutsu, which he was all too happy to demonstrate when taking on Sasuke and company. Don't underestimate the right Kage! Faster than a speeding bullet and packing more of a punch than a thunderstorm, this is a Kage whose style of diplomacy normally ends with a lightning-fast lariat. Number 7, Master Asia, Mobile Fighter G Gundam. Where are you looking? I'm up here. Right up here. The bond between student and teacher can be powerful, but when said teacher turns out to be a multi-layered antagonist with a powerful mech known as the Master Gundam, then we have officially stepped into manliness territory. The true identity of the undefeated of the East. Yes, Master Gundam. Despite being aligned with the Death Army, Master Asia is shown to still deeply care for his protege and maintain his honor. That being said, he's not above using his winged death machine to kick Domon's ass all over the cosmos. What? Feel deep sorrow from his fingers. Try going up against this guy, and you will end burning red. Look, the East is burning red. Number six, Jonathan Joestar, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> An English gentleman of the Victorian age is supposed to have days filled with gentle courting and exude class. That is, unless a scumbag by the name of Dio Brando comes along, kills your father, terrorizes the girl, then becomes a vampire. Dio! That's when this gentleman's cuffs come off. After becoming a master of Hamon, Jojo goes from suave to macho almost instantly. In fact, his manliness is so potent that it transcends time, with each new generation Joestar being just as much of a man as the last. <laughs> Shinuzu. 
Number five, bo 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 Huh? <sighs> that was close. Glad I could help. And you thought JoJo had some bizarre adventures. In this hilarious, nonsensical, fourth wall breaking, and pun abundant anime series, our protagonist is a renegade out to prevent the evil Baldy Bald the Fourth and his empire, the Hare Hunt Troopers. My real name is Bo 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 But call me Bo Bo Bo, got it, guy? I got it, fro boy. Couldn't I just call you Bo? Despite their endless gags, Bo 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 stands tall as the manliest of men to ever use his hair as a weapon. Oh, how about a little privacy? Nose, armpit, or head, as long as it's got hair coming from it, he can use it to knock out an enemy that comes his way. This manliness is so palpable, it's sure to put some hair on your chest. Can I say something? Of course. I am... Huh? Still really hungry. Number four, Kenshiro, Fist of the North Star. <laughs> How can you quantify the manliness that is the post-apocalyptic lone wanderer known as Kenshiro? We are, after all, talking about a guy who can kill you with a single poke. <laughs> a protector of the innocent and successor to the lethal assassination art of Hokuto Shinken. Just a glance at this guy and you know he's all types of manly. Regarded as one of the strongest anime characters of all time, it doesn't matter if you're a fighter, mutant, or monster. Once you hear Ken say those immortally quotable words, you're already done for. Number three, Alex Louis Armstrong, Bull Metal Alchemist franchise. The screen practically shines whenever this guy takes his shirt off. While there's no doubt that Sid Curtis could have also been a contender for this position, and seeing both characters in the same room is the equivalent of a supernova of manliness, we just don't have it in us to take the spotlight away from the strong arm alchemist. <laughs> While he may tower over the rest of the cast and his punches can level entire structures, he's a deeply emotional individual whose care for his comrades often extends to excessive hugging. I'm back. <laughs> You might as well just accept it, because chances are he won't stop rubbing those muscles in your face until you do. Destruction and creation are two sides of the same coin! You must destroy to create! That is the law of the universe! We have to strip. Are you surprised? He's clearly insane. Number two, Ryder. Fate Zero. Also going by the title of Iskandar, this Ryder class servant rules over all others in terms of sheer power and personality. I guess this should be expected of someone who once held the name of Alexander the Great. A jovial fellow whose impulses lead him through life and battles, he became a key player in the Fourth Holy Grail War. But if you need even more proof that this guy is the manliest of all the servants in the Fate series, just remember his noble phantasm and the fact that he wanted to take out President Clinton. I guess that takes balls. Before we reveal our most macho of picks, here are a few honorable mentions. It's ready. I'm just about finished. What's cooking? Special bell peppers and beef. Freddy, don't do it, man! Those guys are Yakuza, Freddy! You gotta stop him. You got a smart mouth, kid, and I'm getting sick of your tone. What the hell do you know about me anyway? You looking for me? <laughs> Number one, white beard, one piece. One piece. Uh, uh, <gasps> Edward Newgate, Yonghu, one of the strongest pirates to ever exist. He goes by many titles, but none come even close to encompassing just how intimidating this guy is. <laughs> Senior, 
well into his old age and regarded as a relic of the old era. Very few have what it takes to stand up to the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates. His immense size and devil fruit powers can definitely attest to that. Undoubtedly, his highlight came when he took on the entire world government to save one of his crew from execution. During the scuffle, he caused a tsunami with his fists, was stabbed in the gut, got impaled by magma, shot numerous times, and actually still managed to die standing. You don't get manlier than that. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? <laughs> Who's the manliest anime character in your eyes? For more top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. <laughs> Watch out! Gun's on,